In this video, we introduce you to the remote display Fox MD1 implementation and operation. After the MD1 is installed, we now connect to the Fox 220 or Fox 320. Simply plug in the included cable, a standard network cable, into the device's sockets. The charge controller detects the Fox MD1 and restarts by itself. The display of the Fox MD1 will show the version and the serial number. During startup, the system voltage is determined and displayed in the top right of the display. In our case, a 12 volt system is connected. The display now shows the current data like voltage of battery 1, charge current, IC and the current of the consumer's I out. When connecting battery 2, the Fox MD1 also shows its voltage in the display. First, we show you the different displays of the Fox MD1. Let us now using the menu bottom up to get to the first menu. Instead of IC, IS now appears. IS, I solar, is a current generated by the solar modules. IC, I charge, is the actual current flowing into the battery, the charging current. With the key menu down, we then return to the screen where the discharge current I.O. is displayed. The arrow next to B1 displays that actually battery 1 is being charged. In the next display, the charge level of B1 and B2 is displayed as bar graph. The next option affects the function of the output port. Deep discharge protection or nightlight function is selectable. Additionally, the port could manually be switched in off or on state. In this menu, you can adjust the strength of the battery may be discharged before the charge controller switch off the consumers. The output port is always powered by battery 1. Now we can set the battery type of battery 1 and battery 2. The set is separately. There is a choice of AGM, GEL or lead acid. With a key escape you will always be taken directly back to the default display. There is a choice of AGM, GEL or lead acid. Also, the loading ratio of battery 1 and battery 2 can be adjusted. The last menu, the contrast of the display, can be adjusted. The, the escape, escape key takes you back at any time to the default display. 